now to the Orange Line shutdown. One of the busiest train lines in the city coming to a screeching halt for emergency repairs. And this will cause utter chaos for commuters for a month. And that's if everything goes well. The T has, of course, a troubled history now and a list of safety incidents trying to make repairs in record time. WBZ's Christina Rex is live at the Orange Line Rail Yard in Medford tonight. Christina. Yeah, David, we've seen a series of partial shutdowns on parts of the MBTA over the last few years. But this is the first time in MBTA history the train will shut down on one entire line from start to finish. And riders I spoke to tonight tell me they're confused, they're frustrated, and they're really hoping this shutdown is worth it. There are 16 days left to commute on these crowded Orange Line trains before the entire line goes dark, out of service for 30 days. Part of this shutdown is about not waiting. It is about making the necessary improvements and making them now. All Orange Line trains will be out of service from August 19th until September 19th. The MBTA says this time is necessary to replace and repair the entire track. To put it in perspective, the 30 days of 24 hour access to rebuild and replace tracks across this line will replace what would have taken five full years of weekend and evening diversions. I hope so. I mean, I, I think the train has always been like slightly unpredictable, unreliable even. Regular riders hope the month long inconvenience is worth it. They'll now have to take shuttle buses along the route, or they can take the commuter rail. All riders will have to do is show their Charlie card or T pass, and they can hop on the Needham, Providence, or Haverhill commuter rail lines at these listed stops. Every day. The temporary change is daunting for people who take the T every day. We're doing a lot of walking. Ridiculous. It's kind of terrible for me. I don't have a car, so I rely on the train to get just about everywhere. It's going to make me talk to my boss a little bit and have an excuse to be late. But they've experienced the trials and tribulations of a daily commute on the Orange Line before, including last month's car fire over the Mystic River and its aftermath. I was very delayed because of it. It normally takes me an hour to get here, and it took me over two hours that day. So for that reason, they hope this 30-day fix is exactly what the team needs to run smoothly. I mean, I hope so. Like, I, they say that it's going to go faster, you know, so less wait times. Yeah, exactly. Nice new trains, nice new tracks. That'll be great. And we know that the MBTA has contracted with Yankee bus lines to get shuttle buses to replace the Orange Line route. They have not actually laid out exactly what the shuttle bus route will be just yet, but we know we'll find out before August 19th. Also, the general manager of the MBTA said if this shutdown goes according to plan and fixes those tracks, he's not opposed to more shutdowns like this on the T in the future. Live in Medford, Christina Rex, WBZ News. All right.